Hello and welcome to Poor Folks. I'm Seamus. I'm Sean. And uh, today we are trying Whistle Pig. Um, I found these uh, little samplers at uh, Total Wine for about $20 for the group and thought that's a lot better price than the price tags I saw at Total Wine for each individual bottle here. So, And they're high rye and I know Sean's a fan of high rye so we're going to give these a try. See if they're worth the price and worth the hype. I've heard both pros and cons about whistle pig, mm -hmm. so I thought we'd try for ourselves and figure out how we feel about it. Okay. So, all right, um, we're gonna start with um, this what they call piggyback. It's 100% rye whiskey, and it is 80 no 96.56 proof. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. a bottle of that costs about 50 bucks. Okay. Uh, they say on the nose it's cinnamon, pepper, tangerine, grapefruit. And then uh, in the palate, got some spice and some cocoa, um, hmm. cardamom, and leather. <laughs> so okay. we'll see how that is. And then it finishes with baking spice, vanilla, and citrus. Okay. So let this give, give this a whirl. Age six years. Um, again, 100% rye. So I'm supposed to be picking up cinnamon, pepper, tangerine, and grapefruit. Anything? No, nothing in particular. Actually. No. I guess the cinnamon. Uh, yeah, maybe. Methanol is yeah, it's still intense. Pretty powerful. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna taste. Okay. Remember spice, cocoa, cardamom, and leather. Get a heat in the back. Yeah, when you finish there. Um, <clears throat> had, definitely had some sweetness in there. Um, yeah. I think that was the finish though. Hmm. There's yeah. sweetness right up front. I think that's okay. That might be the vanilla there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Some citrus. I, I got that little. T I got a little hint of some leather there. We're gonna talk about like all the leather. Oh, okay. <laughs> not uh, <laughs> not the soft, comfortable leather. Kind of like a, maybe a leather for sharpening a razor. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> it was. Uh, it was kind of oily in <laughs> taste. Oh, okay. I, I had that like oily leather. I don't know. It was weird. It was right up front. Yeah, it's, it's got this kind of earthy taste to it up front. Okay. It's, uh, I don't know, I can't say it's all that pleasing, but okay. how would you think of it? I disagree. Do you really it's like it? It's very good. <laughs> it's very good. It's the high rye. Yeah. Loves the high rye. I rye. like the high rye. It, for me, mm. it's not earthy in the front or okay. leathery. It's just, okay. it's vanilla and maybe some citrus that kind of kills the vanilla just uh -huh. a slight bit. It's very good. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised. It's well, good. That's not bad. I mean, this a bottle of this will set you back 50 bucks. Mm. That's not horrible. That's the most decent one. Right. Of these three. <laughs> yeah, based on the <laughs> prices, for sure. <laughs> so, up next, we have the Whistle Pig, the Whistle Pig Small Batch Ride, age 10 years. So, this is what kicked it off for them, I guess. Ooh, got a nice little glass bottle with a cork. That's pretty. That's pretty high class right there. Mm. Okay, so this is the small batch. Age 10 years, 100 proof. Uh, it's a high rye. I didn't quite get the mash bill. I didn't see what it was. Oh, okay. Put it in if it, we see it. Uh, nose is allspice, orange peel, anise, and oak, and caramel. Mm. And then uh, on the palate, we got sweet caramel, vanilla, rice spice, and mint. So there might be a hint of mint in this. Okay. And then butterscotch and caramel on the back, mm. on the finish there. So that, I should like this one. Yeah. <clears throat> if that's true. <clears throat> All right. Run for the nose. It definitely doesn't have the alcohol off the front. No. no I did. I'm getting a little bit of vanilla, caramel. Yeah, no, 
know, I, I'm going to have to say I didn't like the first one. Well, <laughs> I did not like it. It's not, not hitting me like I, I good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not picking up any of those flavors. <laughs> they say you get sweet caramel, vanilla, rice spice, maybe that's what I'm getting. Maybe. I'm not getting mint at all. I don't know what rice spice is, but it's not. I'm getting a, a s subtle mint in, in like the jowls. Okay. Um, very, very subtle. And then the spice kind of overtakes it, mm -hmm. and the rye is very prominent. The first one was super sweet on the front. This one's a little bit more bitter mm -hmm. on the front. Doesn't mean it's not sweet. Okay. But much more dulled with the sweetness. Yeah, definitely duller yeah. <laughs> for me. It, it's got that kind of grassy thing that I had in the first one. Um, okay. Just where it's just not, um, and not in a good way. <laughs> for me, not for me. It's just mm. so. This one's ninety three bucks. Mm. There's no way I'm paying that for this. Okay. <laughs> for me personally. Yeah. Uh, I mean, to me, it, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's decent. Okay. I think I like. Think I like the hundred percent rye. Still more. Okay. Still more. So. Okay. All right. It's a little bit sweeter. There. That's cool. I like it. Hello. Quick interruption here. Join us next week as we start our Trader Joe's series on their whiskeys. We have a couple of bourbons and a Tennessee whiskey. And then on this side, we have a rye, a wheat, and an Irish. We're going to do those three on this side on one episode, these three on the other episode. And then pick our favorite and then bring that together and pick our overall winner. So again, join us next Friday as we start this three-part series. Now back to our regular scheduled programming. Okay, up next we have the... Uh, this pig called Old World Rye. This is 86 proof and it is blended apparently. So uh, let's see, we're gonna have caramel, vanilla, and winter fruit. Huh. Not exactly sure what winter fruit is yet. On the palate, uh, the rice spice, apricot, plums, so is gonna be kind of fruity raisins, dates, and honey. And then dark chocolate, winter spice, caramel, and vanilla on the finish. So, okay. so this one's gonna run you 160 bucks. That's why. That's crazy to me, but it'll be really good. <laughs> anyway, part of me is hoping I don't like it. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see how this does. <clears throat> 86 proof. Mm -hmm. Definitely, the uh, the nose on this one is a lot better. Yeah, I'm definitely am able to pick some stuff out on this one for sure. Oh, there's, yeah, sweetness for sure. The wine, I'm sure. Yeah, it's got to add. It reminds <clears throat> me of the gold bar. Yeah, on the smell. that's right. Yeah, yeah, that gold bar was a wine finish, right? Yeah. Okay. It's got that. <laughs> Does it taste the same to you? I like it. <laughs> Did it taste the same like the other ones? No, it tasted totally different. Totally different? Totally it tastes different. the same as this one to me. Really? Yeah. And it's just totally flat. Wow. Just. <laughs> My palate is. Must be Jack. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just not. Impressive, but doesn't it's not complex to me, it's not flavorful, it's just kind of bland and kind of grassy, um, but not in a good way. <laughs> okay, no, uh, hmm. definitely with the finish, I think this one had the most burn at, at the back end. Yeah, this one had burn at the back end. Neither one of these did, no. very smooth, very. Easy to go back. There's no kind of bite or anything. Yeah. Uh, it's totally smooth. Must age out, I'm guessing. Well, I'm, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem. <laughs> this is not going to be a problem for me. <laughs> right. yeah. to, 
to be fair, I, like I said, yeah. this one in particular reminds me of the gold bar. Okay. Um, you can always check out that video. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's, it's sort of a dessert whiskey. It's super sweet to me. It's it tastes almost one for one with that gold bar. If we still had right. some, I would have to do it. Yeah, for me. Yeah. It's... Okay. Is there one that you liked the most <sighs> over any other, or were they all just kind of weirdly bland? You no, know, I, I guess <sighs> this one's probably my favorite. Fifty bucks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just it kind of gives it kind of gives me that Frey Ranch a little bit. Yeah. These ones were just. This one was just totally fine. Okay. Wow. That's wild. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's almost like a moldy grass. <laughs> wow. It's it's not pleasurable. I mean, it's okay. not, there's nothing. It's like it's like, ew. That's 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 literally the feeling I'm having with us. Is ew. Wow. <laughs> so <That's insane. clears throat> for for me the. 100% rye could be a daily drinker. Okay. This one is like a dessert okay. sort of whiskey. Mm -hmm. This one, I'd be fine never touching again. Okay. It's, it's <laughs> decent. Right. It's not that it's bad. It's right. just the, the sweetness is kind of the the play that I had from the rye. Okay. So I was expecting it to move forward. Mm -hmm. This one just got a little bitter. That's okay. Good. That's so. interesting. <clears throat> yeah. I, I have to say that none of these are in my... Top twenty oh, okay. <laughs> of everything we've done. Okay, <laughs> you know. Wow. I mean, uh, I look at our top five and not even touching those. I mean, not even no. close to me. It wouldn't touch my top five either. Right, but still. But I mean, in my top twenty, I think it'll oh, find okay. a place. You drink the whiskey you like, the oh, way yeah. you like to drink it, and that's the way it goes. And that's why we did this. This is great. This is this is good for me. Mm -hmm. Twenty bucks, you know, to figure out whether I like this stuff or not, instead of. You know, forking over fifty dollars or even ninety-three or hundred and sixty. Right. Man, if I had spent that, <laughs> come home and taste yeah. that, I'd be mad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, so you got a fifty-fifty on this whistle pick here with us. Sean likes it. He likes the high ride already, and mm -hmm. this fits in his wheelhouse for what he likes, and that's great. Me, not so much. Uh, not one of my faves at all. <laughs> um, uh, so that's the way the cookie crumbles or the whiskey gets drunk. So anyway, Shalanta, uh, thanks for joining us. Um, more folks, like and subscribe. And uh, try whistle pick for yourself. Find out what you like. Take care.